So as you can see, the interior looks to be completed as we move forward in our coverage of building the Ford GT kit from Tamiya. Yes, the interior is pretty much done at this point. Nothing basic, or nothing, just the basics. Uh, basic detailing, painting, uh, interiors are still one of my weak spots in model building. Well, my entire model building is my weak spot in model building, but t the interiors are one area where I still, uh, I think, I guess I would say I lack a little bit. It's one area that I would love to improve upon, even though you really don't see it once the model is completed. For my own benefit, my own, not benefit, but for my own personal joy, I guess, I would like to uh, improve upon that area. The interiors make them a little more better detail, little, make them look a little more interior-y, if you will. So, so that is the interior. It is ready to go. Uh, we'll take a look at the body. It is almost ready for clear. It's getting there. Uh, I've done a this is the second coat I have done on the body. It's a very interesting color to paint and to work with. Uh, the, the, the pearl reflects a lot of different colors and it makes it look, it, it, it changes the colors a little bit. Uh, as you can see maybe here, there's like, it looks like there are some gray spots on it. It's really an interesting color to work with and it kind of makes it a little difficult because you might think something's going to be wrong with it or you didn't do something and, and it can throw you off and what have you so I may do one more coat of paint I've been working on it what's standing to get in it smooth I've been kind of having some issues kind of it's going on grainy and I'm not sure where the issues coming from I don't think it's the paint necessarily but I think it's how I'm applying it maybe my PSI is not correct <coughs> excuse me I'm just having some issues so I'm having to spend a lot of time wet sanding it and what have you so I might do one more coat and then call it ready for clear. So there is the body. It's getting there. This is a very interesting color. Like I said, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it looks once it's all done up and clear in the clear coat. So there is the body. Uh, the chassis is what we would call a roller now. It is a rolling chassis. Uh, the brakes, finish the brakes up. I didn't do any video of them. Then they're there though. They're finished. There is the chassis. It is ready to go. So I guess at this point now we can attach the uh, interior bucket to the chassis and then attach the engine out back and have a completed chassis. So let's, uh, what do we say we do that real quick and get this thing uh, one more step to being completed. Let me do a little test for the end. Let me see how it goes. All right. So we will take our little bit of take our bottle of glue. Mm -hmm. I think they can have some. sit for another moment I guess now we can get the uh, engine glue in place oh. You know what I'm gonna I get my knife out. Uh, let's see what I'm gonna do real quick. Uh, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna need an actual drill bit, so never mind. Those holes, the mounting holes there on the suspension for the engine are kinda tight. It takes a little bit of effort to get the uh, engine or or not. Never mind. Forget what I was saying. Alright, so there we go. <laughs> The chassis is basically complete at this moment. Now it's just waiting for the 
body. So as you can see, progress has finally, finally been made on the Ford GT that we are building here at the garage. Uh, had a little bit of a setback on this one. Uh, after the uh, after I got the, the first, uh, after I got done with the, the paint, got that coat was done. Trying to get it clear coated and that's when the issues happened. Well, not really an issue, but uh, I got clear coated it and the Toyota Risen body at the same time. And unfortunately I had a ton of debris on both of them. Uh, so much that it was, uh, and the pieces were really good size, and I wish there's no way I was going to be able to fix it without basically sanding it down, sanding, completely sanding them out all the way down to the paint, and then repainting and then clearing it. it was kind of that bad. So I did, uh, so I had to start over basically. I threw them in the uh, purple pond to strip them, but unfortunately because I let them both uh, cure for around 48 hours before I made that decision, um, it was really, really difficult and really tough to strip 2K Clear. Once 2K Clear has passed its initial curing stage, which is about 24 hours, it's very difficult to, to strip. If it's within that 24 hour period, it will come off in sheets within like an hour, within a couple hours really. But once it gets past that, that first initial curing stage, it is very difficult to remove. It took about a week and a half, close to two weeks on this one, the Purple Pond, is um, all right, the Toyota Risen body is still in the purple pond. I'm letting that. I'm just being lazy, and letting that one just soak in there. It took a lot of effort uh, between the purple pond, the super clean stripping, and elbow grease and stuff just to get it back to this, to get it to where I could start over again with the fresh coated primer. But here we are now. I clear coated this last night, so it's not even in the 24-hour window yet. So I need to wait. Um, probably uh, Thursday, uh, probably closer to Friday maybe, I should be able to start working on it. Uh, there are some little debris spots here and there that I need to uh, wet sand out. Nothing major, nothing like the first round at all. And I'm not even sure if it's debris, I think it might be air bubbles, and the air bubbles are dried, but unfortunately, you know, it's not good. But anyways, it's nothing that I really can't fix on this one, nothing I haven't dealt with before, not a big deal. So it is what it is. I've been I know where my issues are coming with the debris from 2K Clear, and I'm working on steps to rectify that. And hopefully, I can without having to buy a new container of, of stuff. I don't want to, but if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. But I'm working on steps to get that taken care of. But that's not for this video. But as you can see, it is clear, and it is shiny, and I am loving it. Uh, is it, this color really pops once it gets that clear on it? It's just lovely. I am loving it. So not sure if I'm going to do the stripes. I don't know. And there you can see, um, there it is. It has been clear coated and it is getting there. So hopefully, um, maybe by the end of this coming weekend, I should have this one wrapped up. That's my goal.